Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a everyday makeup look as requested. Some of you have been requesting this and I neglected to do it because I actually have this video. I think it's a part of the European vibes thing that I did. So it wasn't like a dedicated, okay, what's going on here? What's going on? It wasn't a dedicated video, but um, so yeah, this is my everyday makeup look. It's very simple, not a lot of product. Well, for me, it's not, I don't think. So if you wanna know how I do my everyday makeup and the products I use, keep on watching and subscribe if you're not already. All right, let's jump into it. All right, so we're just gonna jump into this. So, oh my gosh, last week, my feet, I mean, you can see the scars and they're clearing up now, but I broke out so bad, like the worst it's been in like so long. I think it was because I was eating pretty bad and not drinking enough water. So I've been trying to drink so much more water and just be careful. I mean, I actually haven't been eating the best though, but anyway, it's finally clearing up. Thank God. Um, but I did do an extraction on my chin for all like the blackheads. So this is mostly like the result of that. But over here, why? Anyway, that's a side note. So. This is my everyday makeup. It's very minimal, guys. It's not a lot. I typically wear a little bit more if I do break out. So um, the product that I have been using is MAC Studio Fix Concealer in not my shade of color, <laughs> NW20. This is so old, this product. Like, I should have thrown this out probably like a year, if not more, ago. <laughs> Whatever. So I just use a little bit of this. I like it just because it's um, it stays put. I really don't need it right now, maybe like right there. But I had like, oh, it was bad. So I would use that, even though it's not my shade, as a base for a concealer, but typically I use this NARS concealer, creamy concealer in the shade Custard. Um, in the summer I use Ginger. But, okay, so. I use my fingers, guys. It's, I feel like the best, um, I feel like it's the best way for application. Just honestly makes it blend better. It just applies better for me personally. And I just start with my under eyes because I was blessed with nice dark circles. And work that out. I drag it down around my mouth. I'm gonna put more on it. I layer it. I kind of just start. I don't want to like put too much on at first. When I used to wear foundation, I would use a beauty, bl beauty blender, and I love the beauty blender. That's an awesome product. Okay. So that. <clears throat> put some more on. Comment below your favorite concealers. Because once I find a product, I usually stick to it because I don't like to venture out. <laughs> um, I used to use the Maybelline. I don't remember what it was. Fit Me? I don't know. With the cushion on it. And that was pretty good for a drugstore. And then I used the NYX concealer. And I liked that for a while until I used this. And I was like, oh my gosh, like what have I been doing? <laughs> I just love this product. It's so creamy. It like doesn't crease. It's... It's good. Okay, so I put that, the high points on my cheek, kind of blend it all out, drag it down a little bit so it's not like a harsh line. And then I usually keep it the concealer, me, most of the product is in the T-zone for me. Obviously that's like the lighter area that highlights your face, but also because I tend to break out around my mouth, which sucks, <laughs> but um, so, thankfully, I guess it's a good thing because I'm keeping it in the T-zone area. So, I just put it on top of any of the breakouts. And obviously, like, if there's one there, I'll, I'll go like that. Around my nose. Sometimes I'll go like that and drag it up. I don't use primer. I just, I don't like the way... I don't like to feel like I'm wearing makeup. Like it just depends. Typically if I'm filming or something, then I will add a little bit more concealer, like just right here, 
if I'm just throughout my day, I won't go too crazy with the concealer. It just all depends, but this is basically what I do every day. And we good. We good, I think. I hope the lighting's good. <sighs> Thank God it's clearing up. Okay, now that we're done with that, the next thing is I set my concealer with Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, the loose powder. I really love this stuff. It's definitely not cheap, but I really do like it. I used to have the, um, I used to use this Benai powder. It's a little more yellow. I use that, I don't know, I don't really love that anymore. Um, and then I use the e.l.f. blush brush to put that on. It's so funny that this is the blush brush and so is this. And so is this. Like, completely different shapes and sizes. Like, how does that even work? Um, okay, so I take some of the product. Set it. I feel like this is just very um, lightweight and it meshes with your skin nicely. Um, that's it. That's it. I feel like I should be talking to you guys about something like interesting. I don't know. Like the last time I did my makeup, I talked about the Kim Kardashian photos, even though that probably stirred up a little bit of drama for some of you. No, you guys were all really, really like nice about it. Um, okay, next is my all-time favorite product. My favorite part of my makeup lately. I talked about this in my January favorites. It's Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Bake Powder in Bronze 3. I'm obsessed. It literally just makes your face beautiful, beautiful. So I like to use this uh, Real Techniques blush brush. I can't say that, I don't know why. And I just throw this all over, honestly. It just, it like, I don't even know. It's a pricey product. It's $42 for this. Oh, and this one, the translucent powder, this is a smaller version. They have a bigger one, which is more. So I suggest getting that size. Um, this just like gives me warmth and glow and radiance and like makes me look alive basically. And it's it's warm, but it's not like I'm an orange pumpkin, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know. It's just so blendable and flawless and just ugh, such a nice base. And I'm, the fact that I don't wear foundation it just gives you that like extra skin like finish. I, I don't even know how to explain that honestly. It's like such a beautiful product. I got my friend, my best friend to use it and she said it's a miracle product. Like she loves it because it it's like, I don't know if you're familiar with the um, MAC, uh, what is it called? MAC Prep and Prime Loose Powder and the kind of like it's like it's basically like this translucent I guess um, but you just dust it all over your face and it literally like almost blurs everything out and meshes everything together and just gives you such a nice finish this is what I feel like this product does but with like a color like a bronze or like I don't, I don't know <laughs> I'm obsessed and it's good to be like a base for like if you want to contour because you want to start off with like a warmer shade <clears throat> It's just perfect for winter because I'm very pale and it makes me look alive. And I'm definitely gonna get the bronze four, the shade four for summer because I went last summer and I still use this, but I obviously like added more. Like uh, I love this one, Too Faced Chocolate Soleil for summer. I've never tried MAC Give Me Sun but I hear that one's nice. Okay, so I literally just like, just saturate my whole body with it. And this product does oxidize, so it will, you will get more color too as the time goes. But like I said, give me more, I don't care. Then I go in with this freaking raggedy, like worn out <laughs> contour kit by Anastasia. 
Look at it. I don't I don't buy a lot of makeup. Like I just use what I have. It's pretty crazy. Okay, so I go in with I don't know what the name of the shade is, but the cooler tone middle one and then the warmer but not the darkest. I mix that together. And I just put it right there, mainly, to give my face a little more structure with a light hand. Makes a difference. Subtle, but makes a difference. And then I like to under my nose and under the chin, the double chin. And then I also do my hairline a little bit. I mean, if I'm running out the door and I don't have anything to do or, or I'm not filming or anything, like I don't have to contour. I'll just definitely throw on that bronzer. But you know, this takes this not even doesn't take long. It's like two seconds more so so that's that then I'll take this brush again and kind of blend it can you see the difference can you just see like I have a natural like pretty glow not glow but like warmth okay love that love it I don't use blush the only blush that I've all right well, we're not even getting into it because we're doing everyday makeup okay I also like to take a, a napkin or whatever and just take off any excess concealer that's on my lips. But we moving on to brows. And you already know, I love this product. It's Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in shade medium brown. I used to use the dark brown. Um, and that works. But I just found that I love the medium brown because it's like a cooler tone and my natural hair is like a cooler brown but it works for blondes, it works for dark brown, cool, like almost black hair I feel like it's just such a nice, maybe not black hair, I don't know I feel like it's the most versatile color honestly because I don't really like a warm brow but the dark brown still does work for me I just prefer this one Okay, I will say that I need to purchase the Glossier Boy Brow um, gel. I don't know what it's called. I think that's what it's called. I'm literally obsessed with that. I only used that product once, but I will never forget <laughs> what it did for my brows. Like, honestly, I have it in some vlog. I think I'll show you. It just, like, ugh, it was such an amazing product, and I don't know why I keep holding off buying it. Like, do it already. I, I need it. I need it in my life. Oh. So. Guys. My husband. As you know. If you've been watching. Likes to scare me. Why? I don't know. He's just. Freaking idiot. <laughs> so lately. Oh no. So yeah. I, I mentioned in some video that he was like. Pretended he wasn't. He was still on his way home. But yet he actually just got home. And I was in my room and he was in my window staring at me, like, to scare me. And it scared the shit out of me. Literally, like, freaked out. I, I was, like, like, my body was, like, hurting for, like, a couple hours. Like, I was, like, all tense. <clears throat> so you'd think that'd be enough for him. But no. The other day I was taking a nap, which I don't normally do. But I was really tired. And he was in this room working on the computer. And I was about to fall asleep and then I heard the door open here and I opened my eyes and I saw him about to like try to sneak in and scare me and I'm like, are you kidding me? He's freaking psycho. So anyway, why I'm telling you that is because I need to scare him and I need your advice on how to do so without being like creep, like a really creepy messed up scare like I'm not about that like I'm not trying to pretend I'm dead because that's like no but just like something please help me I was gonna wait till April 1st I don't know but maybe I should do it sooner comment your thoughts please he needs to learn a lesson he needs to learn I'm very fragile and you know what enough is enough okay I'm done with the brow is now I take the brow um, powder by Anastasia 
and I used a lighter side. This is in, this is the dark brown duo, but for whatever reason, it's like a cooler brown to me. Anyway, I use the lighter side and I just fill in anything. And I feel like I've been do using this powder more. Like, I used to not even bother. I would just use the brow is. But I just like the way it looks lately. I don't go too crazy. But I do fill it in. Just a little bit. Thank God for brow products and lip products. That's all I gotta say. But that is it. Because God help me. This is Clear Brow Gel by Anastasia. And I'm telling you guys, this is like, there's nothing in here. I don't even know why I bother. I, I just need a brow product. Um, I love this product. Still do. But it doesn't compare to Glossier Boy Brow. It just doesn't. I need to get it. I'm going to get it. I'm going to order it tonight. <laughs> I say that every day. That's it. And I don't go throughout my brow with this. I just keep it mainly over here. The other, with the other product, I go throughout. It makes them look insane. Okay, so that's that. That's really it. If I'm feeling crazy that day, I'll take this product, which I've had for years. Everything is old. Uh, Soft and Gentle by Mac. And it's my favorite highlighter, honestly. Take a tiny bit on my pinky, and I'll put it in the inner corner of my eye. That's it. If I'm feeling extra crazy, I'll take uh, the blush brush by e.l.f. But I have another one, not this. There's just one for setting and one for this. And I'll put it right here. In the summer though, I'm all about glow. Like I literally put it all over. You know, like I just, I, I love that look in the summer when you're tan, but I, I'm not super tan. So I just feel like, I've, been, I've just been feeling like the numb, highlight look lately but I love me a dewy face I do okay next is my lips which I do every single day and everyone asks me what I use on my lips all the time honestly guys it's the cheapest thing you can find and the best personally in my opinion look at look at they're all the same basically the same product I literally use it down to the nub um, I lately have been using NYX Mauve Lip Liner. There's different kinds. There's the matte suede one, but I use this, the original lip liner. Um, and I used to go between natural and mauve and mix it or nude, but I lately just been using mauve. And I line my lips. For whatever reason, it just, <clears throat> I use it like a lipstick. It just stays on my lips for a long time, it has good wear. It doesn't clump up like lipstick. And especially like when you don't have big lips, like you need a product that doesn't like chunk up and like leaves you with that line and like then it, your lips look even smaller. Do you know what I mean? I can never use a gloss, it's so sad. That's that. Sometimes I will line the bottom liner with NYX suede in the shade Los Angeles. It's a, it's a matte lip liner, which I don't like on my whole entire lip, but I sometimes I'll go underneath. Gives like an illusion that they're bigger. that that's all I do yeah that's that guys <clears throat> that is all I do that is my everyday look um, oh mascara I you probably already know I don't wear mascara um, unless there's like a special event or something I will my my lashes look pretty good too when I when I curl them and then I use um, Maybelline the rocket express in waterproof they look really spidery and like long and I, I mean they come out good but it's just like the process of taking it off to me is not worth it like I'd rather put on false lashes than put on mascara 
You know what I mean? And I just, I don't like the way it feels. I don't know. I also really like, like, that look of no mascara. The, the thing that I mostly change up is just my lip. Like, if I wear a red lip or a lighter shade of this or a darker shade, that's really my thing. But I do love lashes on women. My friend just got a lash perm and they dyed it too. It looks so good. That I would be interested in too. So, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, comment below. And I will see you in my next video, guys. Ciao.